All right, let's look at the difference between 2007 and 2010 for the file menu, or in 2007, the office button. So here we are, 2007 is uh, blue, and it's on the left here, and this is the office button. And in 2010, they've changed the background of this blue color to just white and gray, and they've brought back the word file from the old uh, versions when we had drop-down file menus because so many people wanted to see the word file. So in 2007, here on the left, I'm going to click on the Office button. And it's almost the same menu that we saw when we had a file menu in that we have New, Open, Save, Save As, Print, Prepare, Send, Publish, and Close. And we have Word options down here. So if I look at, let's look at print preview because that's really the big difference between 2007 and 2010 in the file menu. So I'm going to go to print preview and it's the old print preview that we've had from every earlier, earlier version of Word. Let me clear this. I'm having both versions on my computer at the same time and it really doesn't want that. It wants me to have only one version of Word, but so there may be file menus that little pop-ups and we'll just close them. So here's our print preview, and it's very similar to um, where, where it's always been. And I'm going to close this. So back to this button. So we can see there's print, print preview, and then there's the print. But in 2010, when I say print, it brings up what they call the backstage view. There's no longer a print preview window. So all of the things that I could do in print preview in the old dialog box are now here. Print what pages, um, one-sided or two-sided, um, collated, the print orientation, which is landscape or portrait, um, how many sheets per page. All of it's done here. And our page setup dialog box is here. And the page setup dialog box brings this dialog box and it's very similar in here under print preview in 2007 when we want to see the page dialog box which is right up here so when i click on the little arrow the little extra box here it's the exact same window so if you read text about 2010 or 2012 as it comes available you'll hear something called the backstage view and that's in here so let's see what else is different. So here's our file menu, and let's look on here. So we have save, and it's the same. Save as, it's the same. Open, it's the same. Close, it's the same. We have something here called publish, and that's a little bit different. That's in the save as dialog box, or save and send. We won't get into that. And so pretty much uh, the same except for the print preview which is in 2010 is now right here on the file menu page all right the only other thing i would say is in 2007 i just said file new and you can see that we have all of these different options if i wanted to create business cards if i wanted to create a book, um, let's see, certificates. I could click on a gift certificate and there's all these certificates. Now they're pre-built, these are called templates. And let's look at this same kind of template. And these are all coming from um, what I already have on my computer because I've downloaded these, but I could search the Microsoft uh, online up here, so if you're um, internet connection it'll take you right to the Microsoft site now let's look at this in this one file new and this is 2010 so instead of bringing up a dialog box all of these things are right here so I could go back to cards oh I guess I was on certificates let me go back certificates and then I choose a certificate gift certificate and here are the gift certificates. So then it's, I just download it and it becomes part of the templates I have on my computer. So here's all the certificates. 
It might look a little bit different on your computer. I have these squished really small so that I have 2010 and 2007 on the same computer. But you can see all of the rest of the ribbons are the same. The home ribbon is the same. It looks different only because of the gray and blue. And Microsoft had the icon buttons with um, borders around them. And they got rid of the borders uh, in 2010. And the insert menu. And the insert menu. So it's almost the same. Our grouping is pages. This is a grouping of tables, a grouping of illustrations. Here's our grouping of pages, the exact same thing. So whatever I do in 2007, I can again do in 2010, of course, and the newer version that's coming out, 2012. Not sure when that exactly that's coming out. But word processing is word processing, right? So um, if you're still using an older version with a file menu, I would, I would challenge you to look for the same thing. Go to the file uh, menu button and see what commands are there. Um, you'll have a tab called um, edit. And on the edit menu, you can do things like cut, copy, and paste, which is now here on the home ribbon. Um, you'll have something called format, which will allow you to do things with your font um, and paragraph. So all of these commands are on every word processing program. You just have to find them. And once you find them, you know them. But you have to stay flexible in your thinking because software changes every 18 to 24 months. So even though these look quite different, they're really exactly the same. So get kind of flexible in your thinking and allow, uh, just know that word processing is word processing. All right, that's good. So go explore your own word processing program. And I hope it's a Microsoft Word so that you can see one of these. And if it's not, um, then just investigate it and see what kind of things you find in your program.